today we're going to make a clinometer. So, and today, today's video, I'm with Agnesco. Mareto! Yaya! A clinometer or inclinometer is a tool that is used to measure the angle of elevation or angle from the ground in a right angled triangle. You can use a clinometer to measure the height of tall things that you can possibly reach to the top of flagpoles, buildings, trees. It is also known as tilt meter, tilt indicator, slope alert, slope gauge, gradient meter, radiometer, level gauge, level meter, declinometer, and pitch and roll indicator. Before we start, we need to gather first the materials needed. So, we need a protector with a hole on the center spot, and a thread, weight, such as a metal nut, paper clips, eraser, or small piece of clay, and scissors, straw, and at last, clear tape. Let's now proceed in making our dynamometer. The first thing to do is to get the straw and tape it to the straight edge of your protector. Push the thread through the hole. And lastly, Tie your weight to the other end of the thread and tape it to make sure it won't slip. Clinometer, first we need to find a spot in a place where there is plenty of space to move away from the object that you are measuring. Then ask your friend to measure the distance between your spot and the object. Measure the distance from your eyes to the ground. Look through the straw and find your target point. As, and lastly, ask your friend to read the angle being recorded on the clinometer. This is read where the thread is touching the protector. We measured the height from the ground to the ceiling in the fourth floor on a four-story building on our school by using a clinometer. And we got this data. The distance from the person's spot to the object is 8.9 meters. The height of the person's eyesight from the ground is 1.46 meters. And the angle of elevation that we got is 55 degrees. 
because the record that we got from our kinometer is 35 degrees. We subtracted it from 90 degrees. There are three basic functions in trigonometry, and we can use them in finding the object's height. So, we're going to use tangent, since the adjacent side is given. So, tangent 55 degrees is equal to x over 8.9 meter. The height of the object is denoted by x. You cross multiply it to get x. So, tangent 55 degrees is equal to 1.4281 multiplied by 8.9 meter. The product will be 12.71 meter. And lastly, you will add x to the height from the ground to the eyesight. Then, you will get 14.7 meter. So the height from the ground to the ceiling in the fourth floor on a four-story building is 14.7 meter. to the height from the ground to the eyesight then you will get 14.7 meter so the height of the 17.9 